Hello everyone and welcome to Linux Desktop December Part 14 where I'm looking at the Equinox Desktop Environment EDE. Now it started out live in 2003 and honestly looking at it I thought um, about 1995 maybe? It does look very old fashioned. Now it's a bit of an obscure desktop. Uh, I can't actually find a single Linux distro it comes pre-installed on. There is an ISO file on their website which says yeah it's all pre-installed on here but it's gone. <laughs> it was an old remaster sys and remaster sys has gone. So it pretty much meant getting it built up from packages. So I've built it into an Ubuntu server system. Uh, it's not easy though. It It is just the desktop and some features in it are not working properly. But I'll take a look at what I've been able to look at. So I'll start with the memory usage, and we're using a rather minuscule 104 meg of RAM. Excellent. Now we'll notice some rendering issues here on the application menu bars. Uh, well, it's a step up from what I had when I first got this desktop going, which I didn't have anything there. Okay, but at least we've got the ability to close and minimize and maximize the applications. Now you'll notice there's no arrow snap at the side. Moving to the far edge of the screen though, it does push it to another desktop. So it's very responsive enough though, moving around the application, opening and maximizing it. You'll notice this uh, rather unusual feature here. You can enter a command to be executed. For example, VLC, and we open up VLC media player. This paste looking arrow clears the command. Then you can type in something else. But it's very weird though selecting it again. You'd think, oh, can I just go backspace and get rid of it? But it doesn't. You seem to actually have to click the icon there to get rid of it. We have a desktop selector. Then on the right hand side, we have memory usage and CPU usage, keyboard selector, and time and date. Oh, we have an analog clock there. Now, doesn't this distro remind you of something? Windows 2000, I think, isn't it? Even have the run program option. <laughs> hmm. Very reminiscent of Windows 2000. So there's no text searcher in the application menu. Unfortunately, not all features work on this desktop. For example, there is a program here to configure EDE. I have looked at the Wikipedia page and it does seem to indicate that the feature is there and does do something. There you go, that is what I should be seeing. It doesn't happen though. Don't know why. Opening up the desktop preferences, and um, we just get this error message, desktop manager is not active. Monitor settings, ah, that's something I've installed. So because there's nothing much here, you literally have to install anything you want. Uh, when I first installed it, which all I had was a link to Baibu Terminal, which doesn't actually seem to work, and Calculator. That's obviously something that's part of the desktop. Yeah, looks exactly the same style as the desktop. Network configuration. Apparently I don't have anything working. That's strange because it does go on the internet. Preferred applications. Doesn't seem to have picked up everything though because it hasn't picked up a file manager. Well, I've got one on there, it's PC Man FM. So I suppose I would have to go and browse for it. Great. Yeah, that's going to be fun, isn't it? Well, it should be in slash USR somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Synaptic doesn't work. That will crash if I run it. About EDE. Ah, there you go. Copyright up until 2014. Trying to open EDE tips just uh, results in an error message. I believe that's it. There's nothing else on the system. And overall, it is very fast and responsive. Let's just try moving around the applications and switching between them. So yeah, that works. And I can switch between them on the taskbar as well. There's no multimedia integration, like I should be surprised really, but, but at least you can do play, pause and rewind from the VLC icon there. But it seems to have become unresponsive and doesn't want to work. In fact, the whole desktop has become unresponsive. So that was a look at the Equinox desktop environment. It is a very old fashioned styled desktop. You will literally have to build it up from scratch on your system. There are some pre-compiled packages available from the Equinox website, but you won't find it in your package manager. And I did look in the Ubuntu, Debian and Arch package managers. Well, thanks for watching. See you all later.